right boys and girls so in this video we're going to be doing something really simple but something that is super productive now chances are if you've been on the internet for a while you've obviously heard about chat gpt all right you've heard about chat gpt it's the open ai model that is making everybody go crazy all right and um, people have done a lot of amazing videos like since the beginning of the year about how to use chat gpt to make money or just to be more productive in your business or whatever you're doing and chat gpt has been really helpful for me in multiple ways in fact as you can see right here on my screen i am on the paid plan which is chat gpt plus and i found several different ways to make money using chat gpt so what i'm doing in this video is i'm going to be giving you guys some tips that i think you can use to make money for yourself using chat gpt i'm going to be discussing things that have to do with industries that i am already familiar with and if time permits i would make other videos that will talk about other different areas so this is the first in a many part series of things you can do with chat gpt or things that i've seen that you can do with chat gpt um nowadays information is everywhere access to information is like it's so open so anybody with a little amount of money and with internet connection can have access to information so information is no longer really the problem the problem right now is knowing how to do distribution and implementation which i may talk about in a future video All right so in this particular video what we're going to be covering just like the title says is we're going to be looking at how to get good at a business model like affiliate marketing and to start off with, I'm going to be using a prompt that I saw online. I'm going to leave a link to most of the um, resources that I have used and that I'm currently using to explore what ChatGPT can do. But I'm also going to use some prompts in this video that you can take some ideas from and tweak for your own industry, right? And we're just going to see the answers that ChatGPT gives us and what it can actually allow us to do. So for this video, I'm going to be looking at affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing for those who don't know already is simply where you take a product or a service that already exists in the market, right? That product or service, you sign up to the affiliate program and they give you a link. So when they give you that link, your personalized link, anybody who buys a product using that link, you make a certain percentage of money, right? When they buy that product. So the company that's the affiliate company gives you a percentage of that money for bringing the sale that's simply what affiliate marketing is and the interesting thing about affiliate marketing is that you can do this for literally any type of product as long as the product has an affiliate program attached to it you can make money with their affiliate program and um, there are many many ways to do this with different tools programs software there are many different tools out there that have different affiliate programs that you can use the question is can you be creative with it and can you reach out to more people and get them to just click on your link and buy right so i'm going to start with the first prompt for today and you're just going to watch and see what i'm going to type right and then i'll discuss i'll tell you why i wrote it and you know things that you can learn from it so i'm going to start by typing this and again i noticed that many people that use chat gpt um, open ai chat gpt they don't really understand that when it comes to asking chat gpt questions there are ways to ask it questions that it will give you better answers right if you're asking generic questions you're asking the kind of questions that everybody can ask you are going to keep on getting wrong answers and you are not going to be successful so that's just one thing to understand it's called prompt engineering and it's basically a skill that you use when talking to ai in order to get it to give you the best results all right so for this prompt now i'm entering a prompt that says for a given project generate five ways it could fail and list three potential solutions for each problem to anticipate them all right now uh, sorry, I haven't finished typing that prompt. Let me just go back. So for a given project, generate five ways you could fill and list three potential solutions for each problem to anticipate them. So what is the project now? I'm going to say the project. My goal 
is to become a top earning affiliate marketer who makes ten thousand dollars per month selling online okay so now chat gpt is answering your question now this prompt right here is what we call a pre-mortem right now most of you might might have heard about a post-mortem and a post-mortem is basically uh you know when somebody dies if somebody dies today right the corpse is they take it the corpse to the mortuary and then the doctors they come in and they do a process on the corpse to determine what exactly caused the person's death right if you've watched any detective movies you know this term a lot they use it post-mortem post-mortem it basically means to decide or to uh to what's the word i'm looking for now to find out what was the cause of death right to know what exactly killed the person and how the person died they do this for um basically when anybody dies right they try to find out what exactly killed the person but then there's a term in business called pre-mortem so a pre-mortem is basically you trying to find out uh, it's like you trying to find out the cause of death before the person dies and it's a very interesting um, concept in business because what the pre-mortem actually does is you are imagining failure before failure even happens right and you're trying to um, counter everything that would have caused failure to happen so I might put up a screenshot on the screen that explains this in more depth so you understand what exactly a pre-mortem is but basically a pre-mortem is an exercise in which after a project team is briefed on a plan the members purposely imagine that the project has failed so this exercise basically prompts everyone to review the plan and anticipate potential threats and hurdles so in layman's terms it's basically like you you want to achieve a goal right but you are you first of all you're like you're working backwards from the goal you're imagining first of all that the goal has already failed in future and you're now working out all the things that could have caused that that failure to happen right so you're basically just working um backwards and you're trying to find out if this project has failed in the future what are the things that would have caused it to fail and you're trying to fix those things before the problem even surfaces if that makes sense all right so for this prompt now what i'm asking is i want to make money i want to become a top earning affiliate marketer who makes ten thousand dollars per month but i'm already first of all anticipating all the ways that i could go wrong the things that could actually be wrong and then i'm looking for solutions that will help me avoid those things happening so chat gpt has given us some very amazing answers here the first one is lack of traffic to the affiliate link so that is a big problem that could prevent me from becoming a top earning affiliate and it's also giving me three solutions that are really good the first is to increase seo efforts to rank higher on search engines and drive organic traffic solution two is to run targeted social media ads and solution three is to collaborate with other affiliate marketers to cross promote each other's products that's a good one the second one is saying is low conversion rates due to poor quality traffic or unattractive product so this is another big factor that could make me fail uh, in achieving my goals and the solutions are to re-evaluate re the product being sold and make changes or switch to a more attractive one or to experiment with different ad copies and landing pages to improve the conversion rates and solution three is to focus on building trust and credibility with the target audience by providing valuable content um, problem number three that could cost me to fail is not keeping up with latest trends and technologies and is giving me ways to counter that attending industry conferences subscribing to newsletters and experimenting with new technologies over dependence on one product or program and then failure to track and measure performance so what our gpt has done right now is it is helping me prevent my failure from even happening and all i did was to ask it the ways that i can actually fail before failure happens and things i can do to prevent failure from happening so this is just one out of many very powerful prompts and you can use this prompt yourself and switch out this project section so what you just do is you type in the first part for a given project generate five ways you could fail and list three potential solutions for each problem 
and then you put in your project that's the thing you're trying to achieve and chat gpt will reverse the problem tell you the things that might make you fail and tell you how to go about fixing those um problems right really really cool prompts right i know so i'm going to be giving out more prompts like this that you can basically just use to get better solutions to any search term that you're putting into your chat if there are any other problems that you think that could make a lot of sense do let me know and i will make a video about them but use this prompt and tell me how exactly it works for you and if i get enough feedback i'm going to make more videos talking about different prompts that you can use and you know show you the results that come from it all right see you in the next one